if you, if you got his headshot, Lou is going to stick around because he has a movie shooting tomorrow. Yeah. And he's going to stick around for 15 minutes. And I'm not a rich guy filling out a place with all these rich guys. You're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the poorest guy here. Um, um, you stick around and have him autograph your thing. Look, look, you know, everybody has a down to earth person. Um, I didn't forget you, Isaac. I didn't forget you. <laughs> I'm in love with Isaac. I just, want to uh, it, just raise your hand, Eric, my homeboy. We, uh, we, we, used to, we used to work at the architecture firm before I came to the best architecture firm in the world. <laughs> and he and I were just speaking about movies. That's all we did. You know, We had a title of, my next movie is going to be called It's Freaking Eric. Uh, <laughs> and Eric, urban slang means it's awesome. So let's hope this film is awesome. And, um, We'll have a seat and watch it. Let's just get the film. So, tell me what you thought about the film. The film was hysterical, first of all, and um, definitely much more significant in terms of what the statement it was making than I expected it to be. Um, I think the use of humor to talk about difficult subjects is something that's really uh, special and if someone can do that well, they really have a gift. And I think Chooks has a really wonderful gift in his writing. You know, and also he, he, he fit a lot in in a very short period of time. I, I love short films because, in, and I've always said, if you can do a short film well, there's no question you can make a feature length film. Because to have a story come complete in a 14 minutes and do it in, a, in an excellent, entertaining, meaningful way, then in an hour and a half, you have, you know, all the luxury in the world to do that. Exactly. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. So I wanted to just take screenwriting classes. Actually, I'll see you. You should join us. What's going on? The gym, she's there. The other actress. What's going on? Yeah, um, so um, I started taking uh, screenwriting classes and... Uh, but really, really liked film, and Kim was the one who kind of gave me the opportunity to take a class where I can make that stuff that I like. And uh, I made uh, three films from Kim's class. One of them I saw online somewhere, they had a film festival competition, and I submitted one of the films from her class in the festival, and I was a finalist. And three scripts that I wrote were finalists, and you can testify that I have better material than this. <laughs> you know, for sure, easily. Uh, you can testify that, you know, I talk about better stuff than this. Uh, Eric, you've read uh, 27 Halls Street, and you read Oops. Yeah. Yeah, and they are far better than this. Um, really, I think. Um, <laughs> humbly, in my humble opinion. <laughs> now, this is actually the only script that hasn't been placed as a finalist in a screenwriting competition. All the others have been. So, um, but when I met Godfrey, I... Uh, it's funny, it's kind of like a divine thing, I think. Because um, Godfrey came to a, a black film festival with Gerard, Gerard Butler. Gerard Butler was screening Law Abiding Citizens, so he needed a black friend, so he took Godfrey. <laughs> Gerard, my boss from the office, sent me, Gerard doesn't know this. <laughs> Gerard, when you sent me to go get the cable for the big presentation that we had to those guys, and on my way, I bumped into a friend of mine who's a, uh, a, a filmmaker. She had a press pass to Gerard Butler's screen. And I got the press pass, got to the screen, was looking at Gerard Butler, taking pictures with my iPhone, and Godfrey bumped into me. And I said, oh, Godfrey, I have a bunch of scripts you might be interested in. And I sent him this one. And he called me and said he liked it. And I came to your house last year and said, oh, Godfrey, did I say, oh, that's fine. You know, so um, we turned it into a film. That's interesting. All right. Do we have any questions from the house, from the audience? Yes? Hi, uh, Brandon Bright. <laughs> uh, excellent film. I just want to let you all, uh, great job. What gave you the uh, idea to have, to, to do a movie about a genie? And an and a urban genie at that. <laughs> <laughs> um, the, uh, basically, the idea started with during the, um, the, the crazy kid who wanted to, the crazy Nigerian kid who wanted to blow up uh, the airport in December. And I felt that uh, terrorism is one of the tags they're going to use, because I was in Chicago when it happened. I said, if I'm going to come back now, people are going to start harassing me because I'm terrorist. Um, but I said, terrorist is not a thing, it's fraud. So I went to, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> I wanted 
to explore that in, in, a, in a story somewhere where you don't have to worry about us being black and Niger um, terrorists. Uh, I mean, being Nigerian and black. I'm sorry, being terrorists. <laughs> Why is that right here again? You are black and you are Nigerian, right? <laughs> yeah, you don't have to worry. We are Nigerians. So you don't have to worry about our blackness. You don't have to worry about terrorism. Just be worried about us ripping you up. <laughs> so I wanted to have that, and uh, the, um, there's an uh, LD knows about the the Asian genie joke that I used about a fraud fraudulent genie is a is a plot about a fake genie. So I wanted to use that because I felt the genie was Nigerian. Use that and insert the uh, terrorist twist. I was thinking of at the end having the genie come out of the house. Instead of him seeing a jogger, he gets into a car and he's driving to work in his genie outfit, it's genies are us and he puts on his fellow music. <laughs> That's when he hits us that this guy is Nigerian, you know. Uh, my producer says, no, it's gonna cost money, have a jogger, just jog around, this, this, that, that, that. So, okay, so, you know, but uh, that's kind of how I wanted to shape the story, but it is what came out. Thank you. Um, I don't know if you guys are aware of this, but the short film actually um, was screened at in Cannes. Um, as well as at the LA Short um, Film Festival, including uh, Vince, um, uh, the, the Vaughn. Vince Vaughn, yeah. Vin Diesel. Yeah, Vin Diesel. So it uh, really um, has taken a lot of mileage and is, is, is being seen around the world. Um, any questions from the audience? Michael? Yeah, the movie looks very good. What kind of camera do you see? <laughs> um. Uh, I'll answer your question, uh, and uh, I want you guys to mind these guys. These, are, these guys are phenomenal. Experience, connections in the film industry, you know, Lou, everybody. So, you know, I'll throw the next question to Lou, <laughs> and then I'll walk down that way about how I, how I create. But to answer your question, uh, Michael, um, we shot on the red. Yeah, he knows what the red is. Who knows what the red is? Thank you. Um, the red... It, um, High def is 1,000. If you buy a high def screen at home, it's 1,000 pixels. Uh, the red sh shoots four times that. It captures at 4,000 pixels. So we have to downgrade to get good quality, to, to get high def. It's super high def, so. Yeah, but are we sure it was a red? Because we were working with a Nigerian crew, so. <laughs> goes out uh, uh, to the um, just explain to us how Garfi got into the picture. He obviously saw the um, the script and he liked it. I'd like to ask you and then the rest of the cast members how what was the story behind you um, you know uh, getting the script and then also um, the process with working with a Nigerian um, film director. What was that like for you? What was the set like for you guys um, in, in working with him as well as the, the entire um, production team? Well, once again, he told me it was Sicilian over the phone. So, <laughs> he said, hey, I'm Carmine, I'm doing a movie. But... No, but uh, one of the things that uh, us actors are privy to every day is what they call the breakdowns. And this is a, a series of listings that uh, producers and directors uh, like Chooks and stuff, they put out these ads basically to the industry and to announce that they're looking to cast, whether it be a feature or player, things like that. So I came across this weirdly... Uh, titled project and 